Actually, it was already there. But Jesus showed up on the scene. And even though you're in the storm, Jesus is going to show up on your scene. Amen. But see, Peter had a word before he stepped out. He said, it did you tell me to come on. Jesus said, come. I want to tell you today that the Lord is telling you to come on. What are you waiting for? Amen. Get to step. It's time to get to step in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. He did something that he had never done before. Walk on water. <laughs> but I want to tell you today, that's not the only time Peter stepped out. Because in Matthew chapter 16, when Jesus was, the, was with the rest of his disciples, he asked the whole disciples, who do you say that I the Son of Man am? And Peter was just brave enough to say, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And can I tell you that that's still not the only time he stepped out. Because in Acts chapter 2, Amen. we are still a book of Acts chapter Amen. The fire still falls. Amen. The anointing still falls. But Peter stood up and said, When they said, Men and brethren, what shall we do? He said to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's still the plan of salvation. Amen. Do I have any witnesses in the house that believe that? Sign a church card, then wash away your sins. Shaking the preacher's hand, then take your sins away. But you had to come to an altar, repent of your sins, to baptize in the name of Jesus. Baptism in your way ain't going to work. But you have to be baptized in the name. But that's still not it. Because then you have to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Evidence by speaking in other tongues. So do, do I have any people that have some evidence in the house? Amen. Have you like ever spoken tongues before? Because after they spoke in tongues, that wasn't the end of the story. Because in Acts chapter 3, Peter and John walked up and saw a lame man. Then they said, Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Hallelujah. That's not the only miracle that happened. In Acts chapter 9, a blind man's eyes were opened. His name's Paul. And then later on in the book of Acts, the dead was raised. Can I tell you today that the church must go forward? It's not time for apostolic young people to be quiet. But it's time to be loud and proud for Jesus Christ. This world is not ashamed to promote gay marriage. We're not ashamed to promote immorality and ungodly things. But as for me and my house, this is my house. My heart is my house. I'm going to serve the Lord. And when you step out, there's power that's going to fall. There's glory that's going to fall. But you have to be willing to step out. Go out and praise the Lord, be a boy, be a boy. 